welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing my festive makeup look now this might be the first christmasy related sit down video of this year and uh, i've got my little christmas tree in the background I charlie bear sorry don't come over to me i'm filming i'm filming don't come over to me charlie is still here um if you saw last week's video you'll see there he is watching me film i'm looking after him you should have seen that in this week's weekly vlog that went up weekly vlog number 12 i think or maybe it was just a weekend vlog i can't remember but anyway my laptop's gonna die so one minute so i decided today that i wanted to film a festive makeup look because a my christmas tree is here b i've recently just washed my makeup brushes so they are all nice and soft i literally washed them last night so i'm gonna take my hair down I don't know why I'm doing that actually because I'm going to have to use a headband to put my hair back from my face because I hate doing my makeup when my hair's in my face but I literally washed my hair this morning so I haven't really done anything to it to be honest so yeah um, have I got my headband <sighs> it's all the way over there oh yeah and the Christmas tree is going to be a feature in videos up until Christmas because christmas videos and everything um i'm not doing vlogmas this year i did it last year where i filmed a video every single day and i actually did don't know how because i haven't even managed to film a video for the past four weeks but anyway um i didn't work last year and now i do so first things first is i am going to prep my skin now i don't use a primer but I like to prep my skin with moisturizers or something like that. So I'm gonna use this Derma Clear B5 Seeker Cream. I think this is kind of like a gel moisturizing type thing. I used it in a first impressions of like makeup that I was sent from Yes Style. And I loved it. I loved it in that video because it really kind of felt tacky on my skin it made my skin feel like it's really prepped for makeup and it's really important to make sure that your skin is prepped before you do your makeup because then um foundation will glide on so much easier and then your powders will go on easier and it will just look so much nicer so i would highly recommend um moisturizing your skin before doing your makeup um and that can act as your like primer for your makeup i've got my little makeup bag here of goodies Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't already, get yourself a nice little hot drink. It has to be in a Christmas mug. Actually, are we in December yet? If this video is up in December, it has to be a Christmas mug. If it's not, then I'll let you off. Um, but this is my Christmas mug and drinks taste so much better in this. So go and grab one. Um, but yeah, it has to be a hot drink. I'm sorry, but yeah. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation and mine's in the shade 21 nude beige i love this foundation i've always kind of like when i've tried different foundations just like gone back to this one because it's full coverage i think it blends quite nicely if you put too much on can look a bit cakey but overall it's great so i'm gonna pop it all around my face i don't like to pop too much on my skin because i don't want um you know to look cakey or anything like that and i don't think i need like loads but i'm just gonna kind of disperse that around oh i've got a message by the way i've got a new phone and um, i might have discussed this in a weekly vlog but i um accidentally dropped my old phone in the toilet and i had to buy a new one and i did get an iphone 12. i've never bought a brand new phone before but now i'm earning money i was like i'm gonna do it so i did it and to me i don't spend my money on things i personally don't think i waste my money on a lot of things like maybe maybe some takeaways here or there um but most things i don't and so this to me is worth it because i will look after this for years i won't drop it in the toilet i promise but yeah so i should probably see who's messaged me right i'm now going to take my brush so this has been freshly cleaned and i'm gonna buff this in i love this brush i got it from shop miss a and it was literally like a pound or something like that or even cheaper i just know that it was super super cheap and i love it it just blends foundation in really quickly and you can like swipe product in and you can also buff it in which is kind of like pressing it in and i just love that so i either use this or a beauty blender but i like this Once that is 
all blended in, I'm now gonna use my concealer. Now, this concealer is from, don't know, the packaging's rubbed off. I literally have no clue. Um, all I know, it's in the shade Fair Warm. I don't know why it says warm, because it's literally the palest shade ever, like it's literally whiter than my walls, which are white. Um, but yeah, don't know the brand, I do apologise for that. Um, and I just take a little bit of that under my eyes. Now I don't like to use a lot of this product because it can look cakey. It is very thick, it's very full cool coverage and I just like to use a tiny bit. So I take that on my brush and then I kind of also like distribute the product around like the other areas of the face where I want to use it just so that I get like a nice light coverage of this product. Um, I don't have a mirror so I'm having to use this tiny little thing um, that I've got here. <laughs> And it does look a little bit crazy at the minute, but obviously you do have to like keep like blending and stuff, but it highlights the face, it adds a little bit of extra coverage, blah, blah, blah. Also, can I just point out, I've had this since I was 16, maybe 15. I'm now 21. So this product is potentially six years old. Like, and I'm still using it every day. Like that is value for money, <laughs> don't you think? see it does look a little bit crazy and it's looking even more crazy because I'm on camera and it looks like I've just put like a ton on and the camera's making me look really ghostly the lights are making me look ghostly I promise you in real life it looks bad but not that bad right oh, for goodness sake all fell off the tree right um so now I'm going to use this powder this is from W7 and it's the sheer loose powder didn't used to be a loose powder fan hello Oh, it's just a dot in my eye. I have these dots in my eye. I thought it was a flight. It's not, it's a dot in my eye. Um, but yeah, I didn't used to be a fan of loose powders because especially if you got the shade wrong, it can look really cakey on the skin and like really heavy. Um, I quite like the shade of this. It's actually, what is the shade? That would help us a lot. <laughs> in the shade Ivory. And I'm gonna take my freshly washed fluffy brush dab it in and just kind of tap off the excess. Now I like to have quite a lot of powder on my face just to set everything in place. I do have oily skin so I do want to make sure that you know my skin is mattified at the beginning of the day and then I don't really like what well, I don't powder throughout the day. I just let my skin be. If it looks oily it looks oily. Right and uh, I'm just going to press this in. Instead of swiping I tend to press it into my face. I don't know why, I just do. I feel like if I swipe it, it might go streaky. And then I just take a little bit extra under my eyes because they've had like the most product under them. My foot is numb. Charlie's asleep, bless him. Oh, okay, I've woken him up because I said his name. I need to think of a code name for him. Or I should probably just say the dog, but that kind of sounds rude. Okay, so the next thing that I do, also can I point out that my makeup routine is pretty much the same when I'm at work as well. Um, the only difference today is gonna be like my lip color probably. But anyway, I'm gonna take this bronzer, which I've also had for ages. So this is the collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade number one, Terracotta. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl my brush in it and start by warming up my skin, I do it on my forehead and I apply the product on my cheeks. And this kind of adds a little bit of life back into my skin. So now I've used my bronzer, I'm now gonna contour using the powder that I've had for years. This is the Sleek Contour um, and Blush Palette in the shade Fair 372. And I'm just gonna take this kind of like angled brush and just kind of pop that up my cheekbones a little bit and on my jawline. And then I'm gonna take this kind of like smaller brush and I'm just gonna 
a little bit under my lip and I'm just going to contour my nose slightly. Subtle but we're finished. Now I'm going to use some blusher. I'm going to use the Makeup Gallery blusher in the shade Soft blush number one this is more of like a peachy shade so it's a lot more kind of subtle um than like some other blushes that i've got and sometimes i kind of like it to be a little bit more subtle and i also tend to pop my blush like up my cheekbones rather than like on my cheeks because it lifts your face a little bit more so if you'd rather have a face where it kind of lifts up a little bit more then um do that rather than have it like in the middle of your face and then I kind of pop a little bit on my chin and on my nose. Just helps to kind of blend everything in together. Now I'm gonna highlight. Now my highlighter is a little bit broken, but I still use it. This is the Technique Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder and it's in the shade. I have no idea. You better not start barking. He's gonna start barking. Charlie, no barking. Good boy. And I'm just going to take a bit of that and pop it just here. I used to go like all like this and all up here, but just gently there. Because we don't need to go wild, everybody. And I'm also going to take a little bit down my nose. And on the top of the nose, Cupid's bow, brow bow. Charlie, I will get really mad if you start barking. And I am also, do not knock that over. If he knocks my light over, it will knock my camera over. I'm going to take a little kind of pointed brush, do the inner corner of my eye, just to kind of brighten that part of my eye. I use a mixture of products for my eyebrows. I use eyeshadows and I also use this pencil from e.l.f. Not sure of the full name of it, but I, I think it's in the shade like brown or dark brown, but it's got a spoolie on one end. So I brush through my brows and up. And now because I don't have eyeshadow, I'm gonna just have to use this pencil. Um, but I, I think it's quite dark. Um, I, I, I like a little bit more warmth in my eyebrows. But today I'm just gonna have to use this because I've left my eyeshadow um, palette that I use at my parents. I think they're quite subtle but we're gonna deal with it we're just gonna live with them now i'm gonna use this which is an eye primer no it's an eyelash primer this is the aoa studio fat lash primer it's white so you leave it on your lashes for about i don't know one minute and then you actually apply the mascara right we're back do you know what i've forgotten to do eyeshadow i'm really annoyed where the hell have i just put that I just had it in my hand. Oh, no, that's not it. That's a candy cane. Uh, I was like, oh, here it is. Um, oh, it's here, right in front of me. Okay, we're gonna do lips now. Whilst the primer is priming. Rub off any foundation. I'm gonna line my lips with two lip liners because we're extra over here. And then I'm gonna apply my lip product, which is kind of like a pinky ready kind of like lip stain. Now I'm gonna pop my lip stain on. This was sent to me recently and the brand is no idea, um, but I got sent it from Yes Style. So go and check that video out. I did a first impressions and I tried this and I loved it. So um, go check that out if you wanna know what this is, but it is Velvet Lip Tint. Oh my god that looks so bright on the camera lipstick applied 
Maybe I should go a little bit more subtle on the eyes then. I think I might not even apply any eyeshadow, but I'm gonna do my mascara. So I'm gonna use my AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara. This is to go on top of the primer that we just used. Now these days, I don't tend to do much with like mascara. I just kind of flick up and then bring the product down and then flick up again. I don't really spend too much time doing it because I don't really care like particularly about long long eyelashes i just want my eyelashes to have a little bit of mascara on them very festive um so i am just gonna add a teensy weensy tiny little bit of eyeshadow i'm gonna use my nikki tutorials palette with beauty blade Bay, Beauty Bay. I bought this after Christmas um, last year. I think it might have been after my birthday actually and I love this palette. It's really nice. I was going to do like a red eyeshadow look but I think if I've done red lips I should probably steer away from red eyeshadow because it will just be like too much. I think subtlety is nice. Um, so I think I'm just going to use the shade, Z I think it's Zoma, Zuma, I don't know. Um, and I'm just going to kind of take that in the crease ever so slightly hate doing eyeshadow um when i've just done mascara hate it um but we're just going to be subtle just so there's like a little bit of kind of like definition and um this is the finish makeup look this is my festive makeup look i know it's nothing unique it's nothing different it's just a very kind of casual look um well i want to show my casual but it's just like a typical like simple look and then just a red lipstick basically but i really um these days don't like to you know put too much eyeshadow on i like to keep things a little bit more simple so i think if i've done a red lipstick i don't want to be doing anything like too crazy with the eyeshadow but yeah this is the finish kind of festive look and i hope you enjoyed this video i haven't done that many makeup videos this year i do want to do a few more next year like maybe once a month i'll do like a different tutorial where i do like experiment with like different makeup products and things like that but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was a little bit um christmasy and um I'm going to go fill up my little mug and get myself a nice little hot drink in here. And I hope you have a good rest of the day. My next video should be a weekly vlog, which will be posted, I think, Monday, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.